is your Bluestack slag? And you are not able to play games like BGMI, Call of Duty Mobile, Free Fire etc. This video will helping you to achieve the best performance in your emulator. If in the end you are happy with your result, please consider the like the video, and subscribe the channel, and share this to your friends. So let's start the video. First create restore point. If anything goes wrong we can revert them. Go to search and type create a restore point. Simply open it. Now select C drive, and then click on config. Make sure this system protection is turn is on. Now hit apply, and then OK. Now click on create, name it whatever you wish. Then click on create, it will take few seconds. When it done, now here you can see system restore. If something goes wrong, you simply click here to revert all the changes. Now we have to enable virtualization. Enabling virtualization will incredibly enhance your overall experience in Bluestacks. To enable it, you have to first enter the BIOS and enable virtualization from within BIOS settings. If you want to check if it is enabled or not, you can check in Task Manager. In Performance section, if it's enabled then skip this step. If it's disabled then follow me. Open Settings. Click on Update and Security. Then Recovery tab. In the Recovery tab, click on Restart Now. Now here you will see some options. You have to click on Troubleshoot. Next, click on Advanced Options. Now here select UEFI Firmware Settings. Click on Restart Now. So I have HP Laptop. It might be different in your case. You have to open BIOS Setup by using Functions key. Now here you have to go system configuration. Now here you can see virtualization technology. Simply select and enable it. Now click F10 for save and exit. Now you can check in task manager it's enable now. Now we have to change some Bluestack settings. Open your emulator. After that open settings. In performance section, select CPU core. If you don't know how much core you have, Open Task Manager. Go Performance. Now here you can see I have two cores. So I will select here Medium. Now here select Memory half of your RAM. In Performance Mode, select High Performance. From here you can unlock High Frame Rate. Don't disable VSync. Now click on Save Changes. And restart your emulator. Now again open Settings. Go to Display. Now if you have a low-end PC, then go for lowest resolution. If you don't like this then you can set default. And in pixel density, select 160 dpi. Now save and restart your emulator. Now again open settings. In graphics engine mode, select performance. In graphics renderer, if you have graphics card then select open GL. Otherwise go for direct X. Now if you have a graphics card simply enable this option. Now save and restart. Now again go to settings. In device profile select ASUS ROG2. And then click on save. And always check for updates. Now we have to set Bluestacks to high performance. Simply go to settings. And then go to gaming. Make sure this game bar is off. Now go to game mode. And this should be on. Now go to graphics settings. Click on browse. And find Bluestacks EXE file. Go to C drive. Program files. Bluestacks NXT, and here you can see HD player. Simply select it. Now go to options and set this to high performance. Now we have to create a new power plan. Go to battery icon. Simply right click on it. And then click on power option. Now click on create a new power plan. Now set this to high performance. Save this plan as whatever you wish. Then click on next and then create. Now we are done with all the steps. Restart your systems for apply the changes. These step will increase performance. And make your gameplay smooth. And guys if you still facing low FPS. Then I will suggest you to watch this video. And if you are facing high disk usage. Then watch the right video.